Hi, my name is Josh Udy. I'm the Elementary Mathematics Curriculum Manager for the Houston Independent School District. In this video, I will be going over how to use concrete models to represent fractions, and more specifically, how to define the numerator and the denominator when you're looking at concrete models. Let me go ahead and begin by reading the first question. Leah wants to represent that she has completed three-eighths of her chores around the house. What are two different ways Leah can represent this? I have brought today two different materials, Cuisinaire rods or colored rods and pattern blocks. I'm going to start by representing three-eighths of the chores Leah has completed using pattern blocks. Students are usually very familiar with pattern blocks. There's the yellow hexagon, red trapezoid, blue rhombus, and green triangle. The important thing for students to remember is that they need to represent a whole amount that can be partitioned into eight equal parts because we need to represent that Leah has completed three-eighths of her chores. So for this thinking to take place, students need to select something to represent the whole and then select another piece that can repeat eight times to equal that whole amount. Students may struggle to represent this using pattern blocks. Though they're familiar with the material, they might already know that the yellow hexagon can represent, we can represent sixths rather with the yellow hexagon, but we can't represent eighths with the yellow hexagon and it's the largest piece. So students might struggle with this. They need to understand that they can combine two of the pieces together to represent the whole amount. For example, students might think, well, let me take the yellow hexagon and the red trapezoid and I'll make this piece here and it will represent my whole. I would next say, okay, well, how are you going to show eighths? The students will line up their green triangles here, but they're gonna run into a problem if they chose the red trapezoid to represent. That's six pieces, seven, eight, nine. So this actually represents not eighths, but ninths. So the red trapezoid cannot be combined with the yellow hexagon to represent our whole. So taking that off, let me put, I'll turn it around here. There we go, a blue rhombus. So if I say that the yellow hexagon together with the blue rhombus represents one whole, then each of the green triangles would represent an eighth because it takes eight of those green triangle pieces to cover completely my whole amount. So I know that each of the green triangles is an eighth of the whole because the green triangle repeats eight times to equal the area of the whole. It says that Leah completed three-eighths of her chores. So let's back up and I might recommend that students just represent, well, what is an eighth? What would one-eighth of the chores look like? So students might remove all of these pieces and say that, well, one green triangle out of the whole represents one eighth because this piece will repeat eight times and I just have one of them. When students do this, that's called identifying the unit fraction. A unit fraction has a numerator of one and a denominator of a whole number greater than zero. So this is a unit fraction one eighth. We're representing that Leia completed three eighths, so they simply need to put on three here. And this model can represent that Leia completed three-eighths of her chores around the house. That's one way to represent this problem. Let me go ahead and talk now about the words numerator and denominator. It's important for students to understand that the numerator is a counting number. In fact, it indicates how many times we count the denominator-sized piece. So let me put that into context here. I say that the numerator is three, three out of eight. That means I can count three eight size pieces. So the numerator is the counting number and it goes like this, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. 
so the numerator counts the number of denominator size pieces. The denominator, in this instance, the number eight, represents how many times we partitioned the whole into equal sized parts. The denominator names the size of the piece. So the green triangle, this is an eighth. This is an eighth, that's what it is. That's its name. I've got one eighth, two eighths, three eighths to count. The numerator tells me to count and it's telling me to count the denominator sized piece, which is the one eighth. Another material that we can use is colored rods. Let me go ahead and show those to you. When students are using colored rods, they need to understand they're dealing with a linear model and that each rod is a different length. The white has a length of one and the orange has a length of 10. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on screen so that you can see it while you go through the video with me. Remember that Leia had completed three eighths of her chores. This means that I need to select a representation of three eighths and really I need to be thinking about, well, which piece could show eighths? And students can represent this and practice around, but they'll hopefully eventually land on the brown. The brown is eight long, and so I can use the white to represent eighths. Because the whites repeat themselves eight times to equal the length of the brown, they represent eighths. Each one is an eighth. Leia has completed three eighths of her um, chores. So to walk students through this, I might actually have them just pull back and explain that the one is a unit fraction, one eighth of the brown or one eighth of the whole. This represents one chore perhaps, or that sh if she had eight chores, and then 3 eighths is represented with three of those whites. So students can count 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths. And this is another way to represent the fraction. It's important for students to be able to explain what do the white pieces represent. Those represent the numerator. It's the counting number. Um, it tells you how many eighth size pieces we're talking about. We're talking about three, 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths. What does the brown represent? It represents all of the chores that Leia has, and it has been divided, or it can be divided into eight equal sections. So this is a second representation that you can use for fraction models, and it's very diverse. So my preference really is the Cuisinaire rods over the pattern blocks because um, we have a rod for every number, and then rods can be combined together for larger numbers. So if I had to represent a, a fraction greater than 10, I could using the colored rods.